Today is a part of Black History Month and today is specifically the Arthur Wharton Football Festival who was the first ever black professional football player. He was also the first ever World 100 Yards champion. He did it in 10 seconds. He was also a very keen cricketer. Also was a great lover of bikes. He loved to bike ride. We're riding around the track as part of the celebration of the Arthur Walton and Black History Month event. You know, he's the one that started it off. He's the one that actually gave a platform for all the players that you have now. And part of Black History Month, celebrating um, accomplishments throughout history by black individuals. Today we've invited young boys who have aspirations of being professional footballers. They're here giving trials, playing against the Reddings team to see if they can actually make the grade. And it's just about also enjoyment. I'm playing for, well, representing, I'm playing for Soccer Shop Window. Soccer Shop Window is, is set up for players who have been released from pro clubs and semi-professional clubs who are looking to get back into contracts and just the work to get the fitness back and all the work that they need to work on. We have people come down and watch us, important people, we've got scouts, agents. I came here to put football and try to get noticed. And I also came here to try and prove what I've got. And when I came from Ivory Coast, I came to Scotland and started playing football. I've started playing since I was four and um, I've played it all my life, really. I play left wing and striker. Yeah, I play left wing but off or behind the striker. But when you ride them, it's hard to ride up hills. But it's easy, easier to ride on a flat surface. Reading is twinned with Barbados, Spice Town to be exact. And it actually has the largest population of Bajans outside of Barbados in the whole world. So one of the things that we decided it would be a good idea for us to actually ride around the track to replicate the distance of the length of Barbados. It's fun and we can be friends. Keep us doing something, like when we're bored, we've got something to do. Like, keep us out of trouble, keep us fit. Nobody knew about Arthur Wharton until 1997, when we started to work on finding out about him. Little youngsters come up, don't know anything about him. Not just a one superstar, one sport, football, cricket and athletics. I think he's somebody who should really be remembered. Um, I didn't know too much about it, but I have been a bit educated about it today, to be honest. Yeah. He's a role model then to look up to for the young black boys that want to be professionals, and I think it's just a good thing to look up to. Apart from today, I didn't, I didn't know who he was. No. I think it's great because now in the Premier League, and the best teams in the world all have black players, so it's good, and to be the first one must have been a big step. What it is more than anything is, is putting in a seed. You know, you come into the Arthur Wharton Football Festival, you ask about him, his knowledge is there, he's remembered, and little events like this help to make people more aware. Awareness is everything.